Thanks, Mitch. After the week we've had, you may be happy to know that it won't be quite as cold this weekend. Today only reached 11.3 in the city. The coldest part of the night was 8. That was right on midnight. The overnight rain was steady and lasted for several hours, delivering 1 to 6 millimetres around town. Today we had round 2, but this one settled in the most in a strip here through the middle. Only light falls in total 1 to 2 millimetres, skipping the far north and barely reaching the south. That led to yet another chilly day. The overnight temperatures aren't frosty like earlier in the week, but the cloud really stops it rising during the day. So this ends a chilly week overall. I warned last week of an approaching lengthy cold snap and we certainly felt it. 13.7 was the highest we could go. That's thanks to the sunny breaks yesterday and today was actually the chilliest. Yesterday's and the overnight rain was rather different from northern Victoria through to the south. This system came down from the north, so they had their heavier falls before it dried up coming over the ranges. That was part one as part two rolled across northern Victoria today with foggy cold rain delivering another five to ten millimetres and further alpine snow. The timing of the rain also meant that the northeast only reached a top of about ten, while the far northwest and East Gippsland were high in the teens. The low that brought part two is now dissipating. Up next, another big cold front. But that'll weaken and just clip us as it moves through tomorrow. Then another big front that'll also weaken and clip us early Sunday. Then yet another big one, but this one should be taking a direct path to us that arrives late in the weekend. Around the nation tomorrow is sunshine in Brisbane and Sydney. Just the odd shower in Canberra and Hobart. It does look dry for much of the time. That's after eastern Tasmania had heavy rain today. Showery in Adelaide and Perth. To Victoria, the remaining showers, they weaken back this evening. Tomorrow brings a further wet weather here along the northern slopes of the ranges and snow in the Alps, but much less activity than today. The southwest has showers and local thunderstorms as the front slides through. Closer in, it should be all dry during the morning. The afternoon brings the odd shower here and there. It does look dry for much of the afternoon, though showers are mainly about out of northern and eastern suburbs. It's all dry by the evening. The city should rise up to 14 with a mix of sun and cloud. It is dry all morning and there's a slight risk of an afternoon shower. To the eight-day outlook on Sunday, the morning does look dry again, expecting 13. Showers develop in the afternoon and increase in the evening. The next wet day is Monday, lots of those moving through, but 15. We're 15 on Tuesday, then just 12 on Wednesday with lots more showers there. Tomorrow, a mix of sunshine and cloud, all dry during the morning. The odd shower about in the afternoon, heading for 13. Sorry, 14 for tomorrow. 14, <laughs> yes, OK. Indeed. Thank you, Jane.